Juneteenth. Let's talk about it. Because the only reason why this holiday is free to basically be put out here into the world is because of what happened last year when we had George Floyd. That Mason. Yeah, he's a Mason because he got a statue up. I know y'all seen the statue. Ten times out of ten. If a statue was put up by someone, they was a Mason, a Freemason. Or however, however you want to claim it. But you know how many people that died? You know how many people died and didn't get a statue? Not too many people, but of course. Being that he was willing to basically go up for the sacrifice, to be sacrificed... This put him in a circumstance situation of being vulnerable, being open now and exposed. Of course, cool. You did your job. Okay, we re applaud you now. You was willing to basically put yourself on the line to basically have Juneteenth, this holiday, exhibited. And of course, worship and playful. So now let's get into this holiday. This holiday is very demonic. It's wicked. All you're doing is basically <coughs> celebrating a bunch of people <coughs> that agreed to the terms and conditions for having slavery or being a slave. AKA slavery never stopped. Slavery was never abolished. A nine to five is slavery. We all didn't come here to work a nine to five. We all came here to create our own nine to five. And of course that's within. So looking outside yourself is called external slavery. AKA your mind is trapped. You don't have your own mind. You don't have your own world. You don't have your own concept. You don't have your own view. You're in slavery. Also take this into consideration as in, if you don't create your own holidays, then that means you allow somebody to basically do it for you. So if you don't have your own resources, that means you allow somebody to basically control the resources and say, here, here's your resources. Oh, if you ain't got your own Happy Meal cheeseburgers, then hey, we got our Happy Meals and cheeseburgers to give you. Oh, if you ain't got your own race... We're going to call you this, black. We're going to call you this, white. We're going to call you this, Caucasian. We're going to call you this, Asian. We're going to call you this. All the, listen, stop claiming race. I repeat it again. Stop claiming race. It's demonic. All you're doing is practicing witchcraft on yourself. You're only putting yourself in circumstances and situations to keep repeating these same experiences. These words is witchcraft. Powerful. These words shouldn't be used into your spectrum. You should look, You should actually be looking way above your horizon. Stop getting lost into these holidays or this mysticism and all this witchcraft that's being practiced on you on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to take your mind and you need to put your mind into an atmosphere where you can basically not think about shit on this world. Think in bigger perspectives. Think in bigger anarchies. Not getting caught up into the circumstances and situations of, oh, you should worship this holiday. Oh, you should do this. Oh, you should drink the blood. Oh, you should eat the crackers of the Jesus Christ. Also with you religious people too. You claiming on to religion, you in the same boat as someone that's in race. So this is a circumstance situation that you should understand and understand too. If you worshiping religion, reliving, we doing reincarnation, anything with the word re in it is redoing something. And of course, these are the same circumstances and situations you're going to keep repeating when you leave this body. You're going to keep low vibrating low, coming into density, hell. You're going to keep burning and suffering through the same circumstances and situations, just through another flesh. But your soul is always going to carry the Akasha's records to basically repeat what you've seen from previous lives. But of course, you're vibrating in that frequency. So of course, you're going to keep carrying out these characteristics, traits, and these events, and these circumstances. And of course, these experiences into your next life. AKA, you can never get out the flesh. You was so deeply rooted into depression and run religion. Oh, now you're about to be deeply rooted into another religion, redoing another family. And who knows how fucked up this family is mentally. So you only put yourself in the circumstances situation of being in hell. Stop worshiping race. Stop worshiping religion. Get the fuck out of that shit. I'm telling y'all that shit. I'm telling y'all this shit now. Get out of that shit. It's a hell. It's a hell. Hell. Stop worshiping this shit. Your spirit is no shape. No form. 
You just take many experiences, many bodies, many fleshes, and you can get through experience as a free spirit. But if you keep putting weight and all these responsibilities and shit that's happening to these people that's in other bodies, you just put your spirit back into that box. You get boxed in to all the bullshit that they basically present. Now they got a new holiday now that's federal. Yeah, it's cool. If you harnessing these energies, but if you under they shit and not harnessing to basically create for your perspective, the motherfucker, you a consumer. And of course, they got to for you. And of course, all of a sudden, it's, it disappeared now. <laughs> it's not here no more, right? I better wake the fuck up, man. For real, I love y'all, but y'all better wake the fuck up. And I love everybody. I don't give a fuck about race. I don't claim I'm black. I don't claim I'm brown. I don't claim I'm African. I don't claim none of that shit. I'm just a spirit. That's it, that's all. None more, none less. Enough to add it. We just spirits out here. That's it. Spirits and bodies. And of course, we just came here to save the world, aka work together. Save the world from all the bullshit that they basically want you to look at in a perspective. No, take your own shit, take your own way of looking at the world, and come up with your own way of doing things, aka teamwork make the dream work. And of course, if we can leave, leave this stupid ass religion and race shit alone, we can all work together and basically get things going. Teamwork make the dream work. I love, I love everybody. I ain't coming at y'all to basically stop y'all from what y'all doing. Yeah, y'all go have your barbecue chickens, y'all big ass cheeseburgers, your hot dogs, y'all glizzies, all that shit. But I'm telling y'all, stop worshiping that race shit. Just leave it alone. Feel me? Get more into worshiping your spirit. And you'll be alright.